Okay, so we'll come back, guys. So now, uh, we are going to, uh, we are going to do the further transformation of periodic signals. So basically, uh, since we already have these constant signals, uh, one we know that it's two pi delta omega. Uh, so now for this cosine uh, omega zero t, then uh, it would be easy because that uh, one can just write it as. Uh, this f of t cosine omega not t into uh, this one, right? So, uh, so basically, all all we know is just all we have is just this cosine omega t to be a half is exponential j omega t plus is exponential minus j omega t, right? So basically, you just change this into this. Right, and put this so uh, it becomes this and this, and it just this, right? So, things okay, so uh, so this one just do a change of variable, right? So, you get this, these two, okay? So, basically, this of omega is just replaced by a two uh, period, a uh, two amplitude pi, but with omega zero and minus omega zero, okay? So, uh, this is uh, important, okay? Uh, yeah, for the sine, right? So for sine, we are doing the same thing. We just write sine as this this one, <coughs> and then we do the same thing. So it should be minus. Then we have this, right? So one is just j pi, one is just j pi, and uh, one is just minus j pi, <coughs> and the uh, one is for omega zero, one is for negative omega zero. Okay. And uh, so if f of t is, can be written as a k exponential j k omega not t, then the f of l omega just times this exponential uh, minus j omega t factor, and then it becomes this two pi a k this omega minus k omega not. Right. So basically, this is just a generalization of the previous uh, previous cosine and the sine uh, results. Okay, so this is a property of further transform, and uh, there will be another video basically proof of these things. Yeah, so uh, I will see you guys in uh, other videos. Basically, we will prove all of these things. Okay, that's it.